Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, I want to talk about um, making videos and presentations. So what happened was I was on X the other day and I saw Turkey Tom or Tom, whatever he goes by. Um, he says, what's up with all these people with insane, overpowered gaming computers, bisexual lighting, meaning, you know, light, light here and then like a blue light there and a, like a red light in the background, right? Uh, 40 plushies in the background, multiple camera angles, stream deck thing for sound effects, and then they stream once a week to two people. And then Sean says, I love how people have this, have all this insane expensive gear, yet get defeated by YouTubers like Grade A Under A, who recorded on his cell phone and edited in Windows Movie Maker. Heck, and then I put, heck, I make, heck, I have these things as a small YouTuber. I agree it won't make you successful. I just like to present myself well. Okay, so there's two there's two sides to this coin that I wanted to talk about. So, as y'all can see, I do care about my production. Obviously, I've gotten better as I've gone on as a YouTuber, but I've also been making YouTube videos for six years, took a year off, came back. So, technically, I've been making videos for five years. So, there should be some improvement. And I think what they were trying to say is that some people start off this way thinking that if they if they did everything I did, bought all this stuff, but have, don't make videos very often, they make a video once a month and think it's going to make them bigger. Yes, I would agree. That will not make you successful. But I do think that uh, your presentation does matter. Is it going to make you successful? No. But I just kind of want to show you guys um, kind of what I'm talking about because I know what it's like to not make videos in the best lighting and all that stuff And I wanted to show you guys some of that. So let me show you an <coughs> old video of mine on demand. So this is how I used to make videos. All I made all these videos in a uh, on my uh, cell phone Today we're gonna talk about feed a riz All right, so the name of this challenge is going to be, I'm just, we're just having fun at the beginning of this video, but you see how I'm just being foolish here? So let's talk, let's look at the lighting, right? Let's, let's look at how this I made this video. This big belly just didn't happen overnight. <laughs> I was a yo-yo dieter for a long, long time. Years and years. I've always been fat. I've always been overweight. My teenage years were horrible trying to fit in to society. So I would have to record this whole video, right? I'd have to download this video. Put I would have to download this video, watch it on my cell phone, right? Watch the clip. Then close the video down, put my camera back on my tripod, which was nothing. It was just a bunch of boxes stacked up on the top of each other. And I had to use the overhead lighting in a room at my church because I didn't have Wi-Fi. So this is the only way I could upload videos, which used to take me upwards to seven hours to upload one video, by the way, um, because the Wi-Fi was that slow. And anyway, so I'm making this video. I'm having to put this all on my cell phone and then I would have to start, stop it, record my reaction and then go back to the camera just like this. That's one of the key points. See, I don't have a microphone. This is my cell phone microphone you're hearing right here they lose weight that happiness will come to them right but that's not true see that's where it <laughs> and i want to show you guys i am black okay see i tell you guys i'm a lot darker than this selfie this little ring light makes me look this is how dark i really am i'm, I'm pretty dark watch the rest of the video but y'all keep that in mind what she just said she said at the, she said i got to the end of all of it or after i lost 100 pounds i still wasn't happy all right, mm -hmm. let me let me show y'all another video. Okay, let's just show you where I start. You know, and I agree that what you need to do before you do anything is just start. There's some times where you're gonna be pathetic. It's, your mic isn't gonna sound good or anything like that. Let me show y'all. How did I? Oh, I must have like this. So let's let's see how bad this video starts right here. Oh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, What Can I Change, a.k.a. Lock Your Arm Out of My Mind. Out of my mind. Yeah. <clears throat> so, today, oh, by the way, my face is coming back to the camera, okay? Um, I finally got my setup. I'm just waiting to get my backdrop. 
And I got my table that I've been wanting, man. I got it in my little, I got a little office area that's in my living room. Let's be real for a second. But once I get the backdrop, um, I'll have my lighting set up and then we can get back to seeing my beautiful, beautiful face. Let yeah. me show you what I'm talking about. In this video, I said I'm going to have my little table and my backdrop. Well, let me, let me show you how, how good that honestly looked. Let me show you how good that looked. My table and my backdrop. Let's see if I can find a video. What's going on? It's your boy. What can I change? AKA Lockjaw. Yes, you are seeing a new background, right? I'm not, but you are. <laughs> for me, it's just, just, for me, there's nothing here. There's nothing behind me. It's just blank. Well, it's not blank. Obviously, I can see something, but, uh, you know, you know. But yes, finally, green screening and everything. So here we are with a new background. I don't know which one I've chose right now. So I'm just going to assume that I went with the news one that I wanted earlier. Let's just hop into the video. Yes, it is No Shave November. Yes, I am growing it out. Yes, we are about to get to the second episode of... I know what you weighed last summer. So let's go ahead and just hop right on it. Guys, video. it used to take me upwards to, it took me seven to eight hours to upload a video, but it took me three hours to make the video. So I used to spend 10 hours on every video you saw. 10 hours of every video you saw. It took me 10 hours to get up and upload it by the next day. There was sometimes it took me 24 hours to upload a video. Because at this point in my life, I told you guys I was terrible with money. So there was sometimes I didn't have enough gas to get to my church to <laughs> upload it on the Wi-Fi. So I had to upload it from my um, cell phone, which didn't get very good service where I live. So I would have to upload it from there. And that would take upwards to 20 hours to upload. And I was praying to God nothing happened in between. There was times I couldn't upload a video because something would happen. My phone would die or something crazy. And up. Oh, I got nothing now. I'm just trying to explain more and more where I started. And that's why we're going through the history of Trey right now. Let me show you how my thumbnail started. We'll start with how my thumbnails used to look. All right. Just to show you that everybody starts somewhere. Hmm? All right. So here's how my thumbnail started. All right. These are my thumbnails. My thumbnails used to be just this. Just a picture. And then I started taking pictures. As you can see, I started making thumbnails like this. Trying to take pictures, trying to be fancy. Sometimes my thumbnail was just my face. Okay. And then I started to try to get a little bit better. Look at this thumbnail. I thought this thumbnail was excellent. Okay. This thumbnail actually did well. I didn't even do anything. Before Canva and all that stuff, I had to manually make these thumbnails to where you see it all cut out and stuff. I had to get, I had to get it. I had to take the picture and then brush it you know, how y'all can do now. I had to brush it all, everything out of there. Guys, that would take me 30 to 40 minutes to brush an image, to make it look, because I'm such a, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist, because you could tell by looking at these thumbnails, but I really tried to make it to where their faces and everything was as close as I could make it. But look at these thumbnails. This is me trying my best, okay? I used to do interviews with people, but look, see how these thumbnails started? And it just slowly got better. Actually, these thumbnails used to be completely different. I had to change them because uh, YouTube didn't like my thumbnails. And then, like I told you guys, I took a year off. You can see from uh, this video to this video was two years. Two years I took off from YouTube. All right. So then I came back and here we are now. So I started making thumbnails again. Still not looking the best. Okay. But slowly just kept trying just kept doing it and i think my thumbnails to this point are starting to look much better okay at one point i was not even trying that much i was just putting my face in a thumbnail because it was taking so long to make thumbnails i was getting sick of it but as you can see i kept going kept going until you see the thumbnails you see today i started working on how yellow my thumbnails look i started trying to work on the coloring of my thumbnails and just getting better. And I really went with this yellow white thing that I do all the time. And to my thumbnails are what you see today, you know. 
Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're not so great. I do do my best, though. But you see, I started getting more views because my thumbnails got better. So I want to say that, no, do you need a fancy camera? Do you need all this extra stuff to make a video? No, you don't. You need to start somewhere. Your, your, your mindset should just be starting. You don't need to invest all this stuff. But what I say, do it later at some point. Yeah. Sometimes you can have the luxury of being, um, once you've, uh, see, the thing that w what was weird about what Sean and Tom said to me was that Tom has almost a million subscribers. His, and that's because of his videos. His videos tend to be very well edited. So no, if he live streams, does he, does, is he going to need a fancy camera or anything? No, because he's established in the YouTube place, right? He's already established video by his, the videos he makes. Sean who scripts his video it takes two to three weeks to make one video. He takes a lot of time to do research, stuff like that. Because of that, his videos are excellent. So if he live streams, is he going to need a fancy camera and all that to get people to come in? And no, because they are established in the YouTube space. They put in the years and work, but somebody who's just starting out, if, if they have the money to make the quality look good, do it. Is that going to make them successful right then and there? No, they should not expect to be successful right now. But I think it makes more sense to me that if you can make good quality videos, go ahead and start there on your live streams. Go ahead and try to make them as good as you can, like get the best you can, the most you can afford. Do that. That way, by the time you finally get the footing and you start getting a couple followers or something like that, then yeah, your videos will be fine. You'll be good. You'll already be used to live streaming and your content and quality has already gone up and it kind of goes with the flow. The more followers you get, the more money you make or whatever happens the more money you make that you can update your you can update the videos update the camera update your setup update your pc update this update that and then you're looking much better by the time five six years go by your quality looks great you know versus like me when i started off i'm making videos in a closet i make videos at my church and the quality is awful but that's because i love making videos i don't really i didn't care what it looked like so i do think it's important to say hey just start. Don't focus on having all this stuff because it's not going to matter. But at the same time, if you can make the quality good, go ahead and do that too. Don't be lazy. The only reason I was making videos like that is because that's all I could afford to make. It's not like I wanted to make bad looking videos. I had no choice, you know, but if you have a choice and you make, you already have a job that's making good money, go ahead and invest. That way, when you do get to this point, you're already ready to go. You're already ahead of the game, you know? That's like the point of having a, a mentor in YouTube and stuff like that. I didn't have that. A lot of us don't. But if I could go back and make videos again, I already know what would work. I already know what thumbnails work now. I already know what could at least get me going. I'm not saying this is going to get me to 100,000 subscribers, but I know what could get me to 1,000 subscribers. I at least know how to do that. And hopefully in the near future, I can say, oh, I know how to get to 10,000 subscribers. And then one day, hopefully I can say, oh, I know what can get me to 100,000 subscribers. I at least know the formula to get there. I at least know what kind of videos people want to watch. Um, some of the videos I make for myself and for the people who watch me, but a lot of videos I make for audiences. I mean, I would know the different stuff to do so I could take different shortcuts. That's all I'm saying. If you can take a shortcut to get your quality high, go ahead and do that. Don't make bummy looking videos just to make bummy looking videos. Anyway, <clears throat> let me know what y'all think. Uh, do you think you should not invest in this stuff if you can? Or do you think you should wait? Or did you, do you think you should just start? And you got no money. You have a Nokia uh, LX85. You know, there's so many different cell phone names. And it records in 24p. 20 24 p that'd be really low 240 p just do it i don't think it matters uh i say do the best you can but the main point is audio if you can at least have decent audio where people can understand you you should be fine the quality of the video is whatever june as y'all know shoe on head she made videos that look like butt cheeks for years and she still got really popular so it doesn't really matter um, as far as video quality, the thing, main thing that matters is your audio and then go from there. Anyway, I'm gone. Peace.